This is how you can install your own theme package into your own theme directory in WordPress. First, you log into cPanel. In this case, you're going to put the name of your website with a trailing slash and the word cPanel. Upon entering that, you'll be given a screen where you can enter your username and password. Here, you will log in and this is what you'll see in cPanel. At this point you go to File Manager. This is like FTP but it happens all through the browser. At this point you want to go to Public HTML as this is the root of your WordPress installation. If it is not and if you have other WordPress installations installed in subfolders, why then you would go to those subfolders. But in this case I do have uh, a destination in a subfolder that I am shooting for. Okay, so when you double click that, it should take you to that over here. Actually, no, you don't double click here. It, it shows this is like the map of the uh, files. Here, you can double click. Okay. So, I have a goal and a destination here, but let's assume that it is the root. You would go to public HTML and you would see all of these files. These files here, WP Admin, WP Content, and WP Includes, as well as most of these files in the root, are in fact in every WordPress installation. But the theme files are kept in WP Content. So I want to surf there, and then to themes. Okay, here we can see the themes that are installed. So what we're going to do is upload uh, a rather big file by clicking Upload here. At this point, I'm going to... Uh, I've, I've disbanded the maximum file size allowed, and I think any cPanel installation will have that, at least under my hosting, will have an infinity sign here. In other words, you can, you're not limited by size when you upload. So you select file, and in this case, I'm going to uh, surf to where I keep the stuff. I have an incredible amount of things on my computer, but in my case, I go to my WordPress repository and themes. In this particular case, I'm going to Elegant Themes, and I'm going to take the newest version of... I'm a little worried here. I have to check by date. 3.7.16. Okay, so I think this is the latest and greatest. There's my zip file. <clears throat> That's the one I want to put up there. Now, normally, uh, WordPress handles taking a zip file, uploading it as a zip, and then unzipping into the directory that you're shooting for. In this case, you're going to have to do that yourself. So, but that's good. You don't have to sit there and upload a thousand different files. It can literally be a thousand different files or more. So I'm just going to highlight that. Click Open. And voila, you see it happening here. Okay, so it has happened. We're going to go back to this. And, oh, I don't see it. Well, that's because I need to reload. Telling the machine to take another look is what I do there. Okay, so there is the zip file. Turns out we have an extract item here. And extract we will. Now, we want to tell it where exactly to put it. If it puts all these files into the root directory, well, that's not good. So, we're going to have it put them in a directory called Divi. D-I-V-I. Okay, so I've added, at the end of this, it's not WP content, that's where the theme folder is kept. It's not themes, that's all, what we're looking at here, all these different themes. I want another subfolder called Divi, so I'm telling it to make a subfolder, and then put the files there. I click exact, uh, Extract Files, and look at this. Things happen quickly on a server. 
all of these files. And remember I said a thousand files? Quite easily so. I think it has happened. I don't, otherwise I'd see this bar raising up as more items get added, added to the list. I think we're done. So, oh, I don't see my folder. Well, once again, you, you know the answer to this. Ah, oh, there it is. Reload. Reload. All right, so now all of these folders... Uh, okay, so I run into this a lot. Turns out they were all in a subfolder called Divi anyway. Well, that's annoying. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take all of these files, and we're going to move them to the correct directory. What I did here was, just so you know, I went to the top and clicked that. That is now selected. I went all the way down to the bottom, and before clicking this, I hit the Shift key and held it down. That selects everything. Now, when I select Move, I can literally tell it where to go. Now, you see we have Divi, then we have the <coughs> subfolder Divi. Well, we want them all to be in just the first Divi. So, I'm going to backspace the key here, get rid of the second Divi and the trailing slash. And now I click Move Files, and voila, they're gone. And if I go up one level, I will see I have everything here, which is good, except I also have a confusing Divi folder. Double check it. Yeah, it's empty. Okay, so that's the one. We don't need that. We can get rid of that folder by going to Delete. First, I selected it. Go to Delete. I always skip the trash when I do these things. But if you want a safety backup, you can go to the trash. Then you can pull things out of the trash if you need. Confirm. And there you have it. So, to double check this, I'm going to go to the site. And I am already logged in there. And I'm going to check to see if I can see the Divi theme. And when I go to themes, well, there it is, the Divi theme. There's a new version available. That's because there is a, an updater uh, as running as one of the plugins. Let me just show you that. Elegant Themes Updater. So this always checks to see if there's a new version. Go here. I can click Update Now. And now the new files are being brought in via the updater updated. That's it. You now know how to install your own themes in your own site using cPanel.